Okay, hello folks, it's Fred from CR Machine, and um, I want to do a little thing uh, uh, with um, a wiring job for uh, this CDI unit. This is a Twin Ignition HD Lightning CDI. And, um, you know, to start with, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate how uh, well received many of you uh, are, you know, receiving my work and stuff like that. Thank you. Uh, uh, so, uh, and then also, my apologies for how crude my videos are. <laughs> so what we're doing, we're, um, we're uh, doing the wiring job. I'm going to uh, make this an option that you can pay for when you uh, purchase the HD Lightning from my website store, you know, crmachine.com. You can buy it unprepared, meaning um, it'll just be the... Um, the CDI, excuse me, <laughs> and the coil. Uh, in this case, it's, this is the twin ignition model. So we'll just put the coil off to the side, and, and I'm going to get right into uh, what I do for wiring. Um, I am a little particular about wiring. So I am going to start by uh, putting the connectors on. Okay, because you, as you, uh, the the uh, I when I get the uh, HD lightnings, they're just basically the you know raw units. Uh, no wiring, no electrical connectors are done, and um, so I'll give you guys the choice of uh, either having me do this, or you didn't figure out a way. You can figure out a way to do the, the wiring yourself. Anyway, so. As you can see, what I'm doing here is um, I'm working on the input wires to the CDI, the black and the blue. And you can see I'm putting on a little additional wire there. Okay, that's for the kill switch. All right. So these are double crimp connectors. These are uninsulated double crimp connectors. And... Uh, and this is where you'll start having to listen to me talk about why I like this type of electrical connection so much. <laughs> yeah, well, it's... Oh, see, look at this. See, I'm talking and and uh, trying to do a job at the same time, as you can see. It doesn't always work out. Okay, so I get a new one. All right, anyway, I like double crimp, uninsulated double crimp connectors very much. And it is pretty much a factory standard of what you're going to see. Even on these Chinese engines, you will see uninsulated double crimp connectors with shrink wrap. And that is a very um, factory, that's a factory standard when it comes to wiring. And I like that standard. I really do. Okay, so... You can see these are the double crimp connectors, okay? So we've got that done. Uh, there's two more, the red and the black of the CDI. That's the output. And in the case of the twin ignition models, you have two female spade connectors. I'll do those in just... I'll, I'll do that right now. Um, so you can see... Oh, got to release it. I was fumbling with it. Um, you can see this tool that I'm using. It's not your standard tool. It is a tool designed for double crimp connections, connectors. And it makes a very nice uh, double crimp. You can see there's two different types of crimps in this thing. And it covers different sizes, so you can always find uh, just the right crimp. Uh, we'll do the last one. And then another way to do these connectors is to simply put the connector in. You can see it's got a ratchet, so it holds it. And then put the wire in. You watch it for the tip of the copper stranded wire to just be peeking through. Okay, so there, now that's done. 
okay all the connectors there's um uh f in this case with the kill switch uh, option uh there's four female uh, bullet connectors uh, i believe they're four millimeter and uh and then these are the spade connectors these are a little more common and let me find my little pocket screwdriver okay so the next step is soldering these things so i will take excuse my reach i will take my little pocket screwdriver and i use a paste flux this is some very old stuff paste flux see it's like what uh, plumbers use and you put a tiny little amount of the material right there. Now you could put a little bit on the uh, uh, stranded wire if you wanted. That would be actually probably even a more elegant way to do it. However, more effective way I should say because the downside is is that you'll get it on your fingers when you're twisting the wires if you put the flux on there. But I don't know, somebody who's clever might f figure out a better way. No, I actually just tend to just put a little dab on it after I assemble it. Well, it allows the, uh, the solder to flow on the outside of the uh, connector a little bit. Eh, it kind of works for me. I'm sure there's more than one way to flux the wires. So now they all have a tiny little bit of flux. I go over to the uh, place where I solder them. And I'm going to move the camera. Bear with me, folks. Oh, yeah. See my shop? Isn't it just glorious? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Can you see that? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. yeah, my shop is... It's... You shouldn't eat on the floor in this shop. <laughs> This is a clean area of the shop, actually, as far as chips go. That's the, in the machine shop, you, you, you don't want to be assembling engines or doing stuff like this in a chip zone. So I get my good soldering iron. This is a Weller 100 watt, 140 watt um, soldering iron with a nice tip on it. And this is the kind of soldering iron you want to do, use, is one that's got some power. You want to hit that thing hard and fast so it doesn't overheat the the area um, doing that would 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 damage the vinyl insulation and the double crimp it would lose it and it would just it's less than ideal so a hot soldering iron you hit it you wait for the uh flux to bubble and then you give it and it, the solder will then flow you see the flux starting to bubble hit it with the solder flux I mean the solder will flow and then you cool it off and you don't hang on there with the heat for too long otherwise like I say it will damage the vinyl insulation okay more connectors so I'm gonna make this an option so you don't have to have me um, do this because you know, I don't sell too many of these HD Lightnings, really, because cause I spend the time to do this. And um, and other vendors that sell the HD Lightning, they just, you know, sell it to you with bare, you know, with just wires, no connectors, no connect connections that are done. And uh, um, it's easier. As you can see, it takes me about 15 minutes just to uh, prep uh, one of these CDI's so I'm going to make it an option where you don't have to pay for me to do this and that'll actually allow me to lower the price of the CDI but in case you think that hey you know what Fred's doing that that nice wiring job it's worth it because I don't have that crimping tool I don't have the shrink wrap or the double crimp you know uh, electrical connectors so on and so forth actually 15 bucks maybe you know, it's worth it maybe i don't know i'll give people the option okay so back now we got the soldering done 
Oh, we'll move this. Move this camera back, and uh, because the job is not done yet. Okay, so now we have all these electrical connectors soldered on. Now we fit with the shrink wrap. This is takes four pieces of this size. This is the small size. It's about three sixteenths inside diameter. And then you got your heat gun. Now this gives you the provides you with the strain relief so that the wire doesn't break right after the electrical connector, which is very rigid, you know? Things like that don't really work out very well. So um, that's why electrical connector, connections, I'm not speaking well, uh, that's why electrical connections are done in this way from the factory, because it's a very effective, it's a good connection. Now, some of you, are, are saying, well, I don't do electrical connections. I wire my bike and, and I solder all the connections. Well, yep, that's pretty reliable, I've got to admit, you know, that we can't fault it, that approach uh, for, in that perspective. However, I prefer to have electrical connections so that if I'm troubleshooting or exchanging a component, it can be done really quickly rather than having to get the wire cutters and cutting the wiring harness and and then you know to find out that um, you know your CDI was actually fine and all you had to do was change your spark plug and that it turns into you know an hour job right whereas with connections like this um, it's quick so okay folks so that's me doing um, uh, HD Lightning uh, Twin Ignition CDI electrical connection uh, job. That's how I do the electrical connections. And um, so that's that. Red and black output, blue and black input. And these little additional pigtails are for your kill switch. Thank you. We'll, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.